Hello and welcome to digi8.com. In this video, we are going to cover the topic on usability testing. Now let's start with what is usability testing? Usability testing tries to find out how easily a product or a group of products can be used. It tries to see whether customers would be able to figure out how to use it or not intuitively. Products are given to users for testing and judge therein. These users may never have used the product before. Usability testing is used in various fields to test out how well users can use a product. It is called user experience testing in some fields. In this regard, usability testing focuses upon how consumers engage with the product. It tries to understand how easily customers can use it. Usability testing can be done on devices, documents, computer interfaces, online applications, website, consumer goods, food, etc. Moving on to methods of usability testing. First, A/B testing. A/B testing is used to find out when an alteration to a product has a positive effect. It is an experimental method that is used for studying various things such as a click-through rate for an ad banner, etc. There are two versions of a page, A and B. A is usually the current version, B is a version to be tested out. Users' responses to the page are observed. This method is also known as split testing. Next, automated expert review. Some programs are made such that they can evaluate the usability of a product. They are given a set of pointers that they can use to ensure a product is usable. The intuitiveness and design are looked at. The process resembles the expert review method. Although using programs is more in time incentive and results are more consistent, human experts on the other hand offer more thorough reviews and understanding. Making virtual users for testing can be an exciting development in the artificial intelligence in field. Next, expert review. In the case of expert review, people with expertise in testing are called to find out how usable a product is. It is a standard method for usability testing. These people can belong to firms dedicated to usability test. Next, remote usability testing. Remote testing is usually carried out when countries and time zones separate the key people involved in the test. These can be product developers, usability testers, and potential users. Next, hallway testing. Hallway testing involves people walking down a hallway for the test. These people are made to try out the service of product. It is time intensive and does not cost a lot of money. It is also called as guerrilla usability. Moving on to the advantages and disadvantages of usability testing. Let's look at the advantages first. It generates reviews from people who resemble the customer base. These are people who have utilized the product. They are not what a random sample size thinks. It improves the efficacy and efficiency of the process. It greatly improves customer satisfaction. And finally, usability testing helps firm understand if a product can be used without issues before it is launched. On the other hand, it also entails some disadvantages. The first, these tests need usability test labs. They are expensive and this cost is thus a big concern. Resources are also needed for hiring testers and overseeing them. The investment of resources does have great returns in any case because finally customer satisfaction is, is improved. Moving on to examples of usability testing. The first one being Amazon testing cashless stores Amazon Go. Amazon Go stores employ complex technology to record which products customers are selecting. It then makes sure these are priced appropriately. Finally, the system makes sure customers can pay via the smartphones. Amazon uses deep learning algorithms, artificial intelligence, computer vision technology and sensors for this. The entire cashless process was user tested for many months in 2018. However, in some situations, too many people were found crowded in stores which resulted in glitches. Amazon pushed back the launch to fix these errors. Amazon can at some point think about scaling up the size of these stores, but presently there are Amazon Go stores in the US and UK in double digit figures. And the final example of Amazon testing its Prime Air drone delivery services. Amazon has been found testing its drones for Prime Air delivery services. They were photographed in the middle of the test flights. These drones were tied to a large crane made of metal. A large metal frame is fitted with sensors and cameras to study the drone's motions and landing. It is not confirmed whether these cables that tie down the drones, these might also be used for measuring where the drones land vis-a-vis the crane. These tests have been carried out for 3 years in a field that is known to be Amazon's secret testing area. This is near Amazon's headquarters in Cambridge in a county in UK. The field is close to the Worcester Lodge. The field has a large space for testing and launching. There are also box shaped buildings that are used for controlling the operations. Amazon is assured that it will make sure the process is glitch free and only then launch the service for public. So that's it folks this brings an end to the topic on usability testing. These are the list of sources and links referred to for the content in the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.